Hey friends, this is Shaz and welcome back to the Ministry of Reviews. My video today is not really a review. It's a demonstration of one of the very powerful Android media streaming box brand in the market today called Gloria Force. And trust me, I'm not getting paid to say nice things about this brand. I genuinely like this brand. So much so that I've actually replaced my old Mac TV box with one of the models from this brand. So in this video today, I will introduce you to the different models of the media box from this brand. And later on, we will test one of their models. So keep watching. Currently, the Gloria Force brand offers eight different models and all of them support 4K Ultra HD with HDR10 Plus support and run on the Android 11 operating system. The high-end models like the Duo, Quattro and Uno are powered by the Amlogic S905X4 processor while the other models are S905W2. The RTX Duo and Quattro models are equipped with 4 gigs of DDR3 RAM with higher internal storage while all the other models run on 2 gigs of RAM with 16 gigs of internal storage. But all these models come with a USB-A flash drive and a micro SD card slot for additional storage option. The top three models support the high-speed gigabit Ethernet LAN, while the other models can go up to maximum 100 Mbps, which is still more than enough to run 4K video streaming through different apps. Plus, all the models support dual-band strong Wi-Fi connectivity. So these were some of the key specification differences across the eight different models that cater to different needs and different budgets. Now let's first check out the contents in the box and then I will connect one of the models to my TV and then do the real test. So keep watching guys. Alright friends, so this is all you get inside the box and these are standard contents that you get across all the different models of Gloria Force. Uh, you get a standard uh, user manual or a user guide, then you get uh, the standard power adapter, power plug. You also get the HDMI cable to connect the device with your TV or the monitor. Uh, you get a very nice and detailed remote control and then finally you get the device. Now in this particular case, uh, we've got the RTX Duo device, uh, but depending Depending on which model you'll buy you get all the same type of contents now I just want to have a look at the remote control now it's a very nice remote control I really like it and the reason why I like it is because of the different shortcut buttons available on the remote control itself so it's a very easy user-friendly convenient remote control that uh, makes your experience really good because you don't have to actually navigate through the system to find what you're looking for if you want to go to the app force app um, directly click on this you go there if you want to go to the live tv section we've got a live tv button here tv series we've got movies radio if you want to set any channels as your favorites you've got this button here you can directly go into the settings section or you can also select the multi-screen view so a lot of options available on the remote control itself and this is a bluetooth remote control which is very nice easy and convenient um, now let's have a quick look at this RTX Duo model and I'll tell you what the difference uh, is between this model and the other one in terms of the exterior and the casing. So this is a black and gray combination. Some of the other models would be all black. All the models are all plastic and they're very, very lightweight. Uh, most of them are like a squarish design. Um, so you've got the name of the model on top. You've got the LED indicator right in front. In terms of the connections on the right side, you don't have anything. It's a clean side. And on the left side, you get two USB slots, so 2.0 and 3.0, and the micro SD card or the TF card slot here. At the back, you've got uh, the audiovisual AV connection, you've got the optical audio connection, you've got Ethernet LAN for internet, HDMI connection, and then finally the DC power connection here. Now, the only difference between this and some of the other brands is the low-end brands would not have the optical audio connection, which is this one. Um, but the high-end ones would have it. Other than that, all the connections are the same across all the Gloria Force brands. In fact, the external storage would be the same as well. So two USB and one micro SD card. Um, so this is how this looks and uh, you know all the other Gloria Force models would look this very similar in terms of the connections. Um, now uh, let me now connect this with my TV and then we start testing the performance of uh, this RTX Duo media streaming box. So keep watching guys. 
So in order to test the performance of these models, I've connected the top of the range RTX Duo model with my TV. And it takes only a few seconds for the device to switch on and get to the main home page or the landing page of this device. Now, the first thing that I really like about the Gloria Force devices is the user interface. It's not cluttered, it's very clean with big shortcut icons to the favorite apps. All the Gloria Force models run on the same operating system with the same user interface and apps. Only the hardware specifications are different. Now, let me give you a quick overview of the main page. So on the top right, you've got the time and the date. Uh, and then right in the middle, you've got uh, all these uh, shortcut uh, icons to the different uh, applications on these on this device. Uh, now, uh, what you can do is if you go to extreme right, you see this plus sign. This is where you can add more applications to the main page as your favorites. Uh, I've added quite a few of them. Now, quite a few of these applications were pre-installed, but I've also installed some extra ones just for the test today. And, and you can keep on adding those uh, on this main screen here. Um, then right at the bottom, you've got the connectivity so I've connected this uh, box with the Ethernet LAN cable um, but you can also connect this with the Wi-Fi as it's got a strong Wi-Fi connection uh, you can also connect external devices through the Bluetooth connectivity I've connected the remote control which is a Bluetooth remote control with this uh, device but you can con connect external sound bars sound systems or, or even game controllers or game pads if you want to use your own personal devices to play games on this uh, on this box uh, then you've got the brightness you can set the you know the brightness of the background you can make it light or dark uh, then you've got notifications and then you have the quick settings option um, and then within the quick settings option you've got these options right uh, there so you've got the file folder access so this is where you can actually access the internal storage or any external devices like a memory card or USB flash drive that you might have connected um, then you have the display uh, settings now I've already uh, set this up to maximum which is 4k at 60 hertz uh, but if you want to change this you can uh, actually go and change it from here um, now coming back then you've got the setting section now this is where you can find all the standard Android setting now these are standard to any Android operating system uh, you can have the network you can go and change device preferences you can you know add remove or change applications you can add additional uh, remotes or other accessories here uh, so these are standard Android settings so I won't be actually taking you through it uh, so coming back then you've got the home launcher now the home launcher there are two options for the home launcher one that is uh, the one that uh, we're using then the other one looks like this uh, let me quickly take you to the home launcher so this is the other one which i don't really prefer because you know a lot of space on the on the screen is wasted you've got small icons right at the bottom uh, so that's why i prefer the the first one uh, which uh, gives you you know all the icons um, you know in big size right in the middle of the screen so let's go back and change it to the original uh, home launcher there you go uh, and then you know going back to the settings um, then you've got the network this is where you can select your wi-fi you've got system settings uh, again this is uh, all the android system settings you can see it's android 11 you've got uh, some of the other details as well you can select languages as well now you've got uh, so many uh, languages available on this device as you can see so many of them um, and then you also have the option of updating the software. Uh, so this is, you know, a quick overview of uh, the user interface and the different options available on this uh, device. All right, so the main attraction or the star of the show across all the Gloria Force devices is the App Force 2 application. This app makes your live TV package run very smooth without any buffering or lag. That makes the overall user experience very, very pleasant. All these Gloria Force models also come with the standard apps like the YouTube, Netflix, gaming and other functionality. But in this video I will focus more on the main attraction which is the App Force 2 application. So before I start I just want to mention that there is no live TV package pre-installed on the App Force application. You will have to add your own streaming package or IPTV package account details to run it on this device. Secondly, I might be masking some of the images when testing the live TV channels in this video, just for the copyright reasons. 
All right, so as soon as you click on the application, it will open the last channel that was watched. Um, so this is, you know, in the background, you'll find the channel playing. And then on the left, you've got all the different categories of uh, the channels that are available in your package. Um, so you can see they've got uh, UK entertainment, sports, movies. And as you go down, you've got all the different uh, categories. And then on the right side, you have all the channels that are available within that uh, category. So within the US sports category, you've got all these channels available here and now all this depends on your package this is the package I have this is a test package uh, which is mainly um, an English package so you'll find a lot of English uh, channels available here but uh, you can obviously go and get your global channels where you might get uh, channels from uh, different countries around the world um, and uh, so this is uh, how it looks this is the user interface uh, what I wanted to show you is uh, the different settings and the different options available for you to uh, run but the first thing I would like to show you is that the speed of this device which is amazing right so we have this channel playing um, and then let me go to the second channel um, so now that's the channel which is playing so as soon as we click on the other channel it takes a second or less for that channel to switch on and this is amazing you know I haven't uh, experienced this type of speed in other devices that I've tested so as soon as we click on the channel it quickly takes less than a second for that channel to uh, get switched so there you go so I've switched it in less than a second uh, and this is you know the best part about this uh, application that I like uh, the speed of uh, switching channels and the other thing is I've been testing this there's absolutely no buffering um, we are getting a very high internet speed as well as the device itself has very good uh, chip and the processor and also four gigs of RAM so you would not experience a lot of buffering I've been testing this since yesterday and I haven't encountered any buffering so far um, but you know the best thing as I said is the speed it takes less in a second for the channels to to switch so you've got all these channels running here um, now in terms of the settings of the options available here so as soon as you click menu on the on the remote control you get to this page now this is where you find a lot of settings uh, on for this one the first one is where you can actually go and add your account details so you can go to the portals uh, section this is where you can actually add your portal details you can add uh, m3u uh, extreme code which I've done you can also add the play playlist or you can upload your own m3u playlist so this is these are the different options uh, to add your um, uh, account details uh, then you can also once you've uh, you know loaded your account details you can actually go and edit that package so I've got a package which has a lot of uh, different categories and uh, I'm not interested in, in a few of them so I've switched it on uh, switched it off as you can see EPL soccer I've switched it off national leagues I've switched it off so I've kept quite a few of them off while some of them are still uh, active so this is a very good option with this with this device which I haven't seen in other uh, IPTV devices uh, and then you've got uh, language obviously yeah, this is the language of the device you can set this up um, then you've got uh, the mode selection then you can select different themes um, you can set up a password to this application or you can also set up parental control uh, passwords and then you can update this device and then there are some other uh, important preference options so you can set the audio language of the device different channels you can set the subtitle language you can select the aspect ratio and some of the other details uh, on this device as well uh, so these are all the different settings option available on uh, on this uh, app force 2 application um, now coming back to the main um, your channel uh, I just want to take you through some of the other details as well so the other one is this uh, multi-screen view which is another uh, one of my favorite options on this uh, device this is where you can actually have multiple channel channels running on the on the screen at the same time right so let's uh, select one of the channels here um, and then once it's running go to the ok button select add screen and then select another screen that needs to be added so now you will have two channels running side by side at the same time now you can keep adding more screens right if you want more channels to be uh, shown on the same page you can go and keep adding more pages um, you know I would stick to two because that's generally what you can follow there you go so now you can see the four channels running live uh, on the screen at the same time and they're all running smoothly absolutely no buffering or issues with running up to four channels on one screen all right so the other nice thing with this device is that if you want to go 
to the movies section from the live TV section directly into the movie section you simply need to click on the movies button that is available on the remote control itself so you don't have to you know go through the options to select movies you can simply click on the movies button on the remote control and then it will take a few seconds for the device to switch from the live TV package to the movies package so now this is the movie section in my package this might look differently for your package um, but the way it appears would be the same so you get all the newly added uh, movies appearing and uh, once you click on that these are all the newly added movies um, now the good thing with with this device is that it will give you a very similar user experience like the ones that you get through Disney Plus Netflix or other OTT platforms you know it will as soon as you click on any of the movies you get uh, you know some of the details about that movie you can add that movie to your favorite section um, and while you're playing the movie if you want to you know watch half today half tomorrow when you come back tomorrow you can actually resume from the exact same point uh, so in this particular case you know you get sky monster you have some details about it the rating um, you can actually watch the trailer as well you can add it to your favorites you have the cast here as well um, so all the all the nice features and important features that that should be available in any such uh, application are available with this app force uh, app so quite happy with with the, you know this so far and you have all the different selections of uh, of the categories that you have uh, in your package about uh, the movies now again if you want to move from the movie section directly into the tv series section again you have that option on the remote itself you click on the tv series button on the remote and it will take you quickly or in a second or two to the TV series section that looks like this. Um, again, it's a very easy user-friendly interface. Uh, you have all the collection on the left side and as, as soon as you pick one, um, then you, you, know, you have all the different TV series available within that category. And for example, if you click on this, then you get to see all the, the details about that. You can watch different trailers about, uh, about that TV series. You have the cost here. And then you can select the season and the different different episodes of that particular TV series and again the nice thing with this device is that you don't have to watch the entire episode if you come back tomorrow you can actually resume from the exact same point um, so this is you know all about uh, the app force uh, application on this uh, device uh, again you know I have tested uh, uh, quite a few of different Android media streaming boxes and I can tell you this is definitely one of the faster ones and the most impressive thing for me is one the speed speed of changing channels it's instant doesn't take any time and the performance and the quality as well it's very clear it's uh, very smooth no buffering or drop frames at all and then finally the the user experience the user interface is just like you know Netflix or, or Disney plus or any of the other uh, platforms it makes it so easy for you to navigate uh, through the channels or the movies or the TV series and then you know pick the one that you want you can add it to your favorites or you can watch it in you know in multiple settings so this is the app force uh, again i highly recommend everyone to get this device if they are into watching live tv content or iptv package because this will enhance your experience now let's go back to the standard uh, uh, android applications and test a few of them like uh, youtube netflix and some of the gaming apps as well all right so let's uh, test the youtube app on this device and the only thing I want to test is whether I can play 4K content um, on, on this device. Um, so let's uh, pick up a video here. It is so 2160p, so this video is actually playing in 4K. Um, which, uh, you know, most of the 4K streaming devices uh, would play videos in YouTube in 4K resolution. So it's not a big deal. We just wanted to see if this device can also play 4K. All right, let's go back to the main page. Um, now, as I said earlier, we have the browser here as well. We've got uh, Google Play Store and the APK Pure installer, so you can install more apps uh, on this device. Uh, we've got the file browser. Uh, now, let me connect my USB flash drive with this uh, device. And then all, I, all what I want to test here is to see if I can play 4K videos through the USB flash drive. So I've connected my USB flash drive. Um, now I've got some 4K sample videos right at the bottom here. Uh, let's go and test those. So this one here.
All right, so this plays uh, quite nicely. Let's go out and play another uh, 4K sample. All right, this one. All right, so let's try to skip scenes. All right, so very quick to skip scenes as well. Let's skip more scenes. All right. All right, so the device can actually play 4K video files through the USB flash drive. And as you can see, it's very nice. Uh, the quality is quite good. It's very clear. Uh, it doesn't buffer, doesn't drop any frames. It's very, very smooth. All right, so let's go back to the home page now. The other nice thing with this device, uh, which is quite impressive, is that you can actually use this device as a gaming console. So you can in install different different games. As you can see, I've, I've installed some really heavy games, graphic intensive games on this device. And, uh, and you can actually connect your game controllers or the game pads to the Bluetooth connectivity and use your you know use this device as a gaming console i've tried playing some of the games uh, you know I'm, I'm not actually not playing the games just wanted to see if we can actually play heavy graphic intensive games at highest frame rate settings and as you can see they play very nicely very smoothly i've been testing this since yesterday um, and uh, and the gameplay experience is very nice it doesn't drop any frames it's not buffering or it's not slow at all um, it uh, it takes obviously a uh, you know few seconds for the game to load but once it's loaded it plays very nicely and smoothly without any issues at all all right friends this was a quick review of this gloria force rtx duo media streaming box uh, we've tested all the standard applications as well as the app force uh, app on this uh, device uh, very very impressed with the app force application um, it's very nice it enhances your experience um, if you are into iptv or the live tv content you know it will take the experience to the next level you know uh, the live tv movies tv series we've tested different things everything works amazingly well and as I said earlier there are a few things I love about this device through this application one is the time it takes to switch channels is instant it doesn't take any time number two is the overall user experience uh, you know as I said earlier it's like Netflix or other platforms it's so easy to use and convenient and the third one is the the quality of the, the streaming right it's 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 very smooth absolutely no buffering it's very good in terms of the quality as well it doesn't drop frames it doesn't stop I've been testing this since yesterday so all in all a highly recommended device uh, for everyone who's looking for a decent android media streaming box and if you like it if you want to buy this simply go to the link in the description of this video it will take you directly to the official store where you can buy this very nice gloria force rtx android media streaming box